Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We start this uh, video with polynomial over GF. Now we have to see how can we generate a polynomial uh, using a Galois field. So here this is a Galois field with uh, F having A0, A1, A2 up to AN. And this finite field or Galois field uh, will be, uh, the elements of this field will be used as coefficient of a polynomial. So if the coefficients of a polynomial belong the set of a finite fields, then such a polynomial is called polynomial over finite field. Here you can see that this is a polynomial uh, a0x0 naught naught plus a1x1 plus a2x2 up to anxn. And here the coefficients of this polynomial are the uh, elements of the finite field. So finite fields exist for all prime numbers q and for all p to the power m where p is m, uh, prime, m is a positive integer. You can have a finite field as a prime number or as p to the power m. Finite fields gf2, gf3, gf5, 7, 11 are the finite fields but gf4, gf6, gf8 and gf9, gf10 are not the finite fields. The extended finite fields can be expressed as GFPM, where P must be a prime number, for example, GF2 squared, GF3 squared, GF2 to the power 3. Here you can see that the base is, uh, bases are prime numbers. We are interested in binary operations, therefore we will make mainly speak of binary Galois fields, GF2, and extended binary Galois fields, GF to the power M. Here is an example of uh, GF4 which is equal to GF2 to the power 2 consists of four different 2-bit symbols 0, 0, 0, 001, 1, 0, 1, 1. and uh, GF16 is equal to GF2 to the power 4 of 16 symbols from 0, 0, 0, 2, 1, 1, 1. We can create an extension field by a primitive polynomial to uh, generate a, an extension field of polynomials we need a uh, primitive polynomial. So what is a primitive poly mm -hmm. polynomial? A primitive polynomial Px is defined to be an irreducible binary polynomial. We will sh uh, shortly see what is an ir uh, irreducible binary mm -hmm. polynomial. But a primitive polynomial is defined to be an irreducible binary polynomial of degree m which divides x is to power n plus 1 where n is equal to pm minus 1 is equal to this power m minus 1 and which does not divide xi plus 1 for i less than n. Uh, we will see an exercise which will explain this uh, how to how to obtain this uh, primitive polynomial and these uh, conditions will be clear in that uh, in that example. Any primitive polynomial Pfx can construct the Pm is equal to 2m and unique elements including a zero element and one or unity element. Factors of a polynomial. One way to find factors of a polynomial is to find its roots. Suppose a polynomial a of x belongs to f of x a of x is an element of polynomial f of x. If a x naught is equal to 0, x naught is said to be the root or 0 of a of x. If a number x is a root, then a of x can be written as a of x is equal to x minus x naught multiplied by bx. There are two, now we will see what is irreducible polynomial. There are two conditions for a polynomial to be irreducible. Number one, has no roots. Two, cannot be reduced to lower degree products. If there is no root for polynomial Ax in finite field F, then A of X is possibly re irreducible. However, reverse of the above statement is not necessarily true. That is, if, uh, if a polynomial is reducible, then it is not necessarily that it has roots as well. 
A polynomial f of x is re irreducible if f of x cannot be factored into a product of lower degree polynomials. Every polynomial can be factored into irreducible polynomials which cannot be factored further. So all this we can, will be clear from this example. Uh, we'll see the example of x to the power 4 plus 5x squared plus 4. So we'll see that it is possible that a polynomial has no roots but can be reduced, uh, can be reduced. For example, this such uh, polynomial, it has got no real number roots, but can be reduced to x squared plus 1 and uh, x squared plus 4. However, in case of 2 and 3 degree polynomials, if a polynomial has no roots, then it is necessarily, it is certainly irreducible. If f of x has degree greater than 1 and has an even number of terms, then it can be can be reducible. So any polynomial which has got a degree greater than 1 and has got even number of terms, then it will not be, it cannot be irreducible, it must be reducible. Suppose a of x of a degree 1 and coefficients belong to finite field 0, 1. The possible first degree polynomials are x and x plus 1. How do we get these polynomials? We will see later on. Both the polynomials are irreducible because x and x plus 1 cannot be factored into a product of lower degree polynomial. Suppose a of x of degree 2 and coefficients again from the same Galois field or finite field 0, 1, f of 2. The possible second degree polynomials are x squared, x squared plus x, x squared plus 1 and x squared plus x plus 1. Here you can see that the finite field of coefficients is the same, 0 and 1, but the polynomial degree is different. Here the polynomial maximum degree is 1 and here it is 2. So the number of possible uh, polynomials have increased as well. Now we will test each one of them whether it is reducible or not. First of all, let's see x squared. We can easily see that it can be factored into x into x, so it is reducible. For x square plus 1, we will put 0 and 1 both and when we put 0, we get 1 and when we put 1 in the equation, we get 0. Hence, x is equal to 1 is the root of the equation and x minus 1 is equal to 0 is a factor of x square plus 1. So, in other words, this cannot be uh, irreduc irreducible polynomial because it has got roots. Now we will find the other factors by dividing x square plus 1 by x plus 1. Because here x is equal to 1 is the root of the equation and x minus 1, 0 is a factor of x square plus 1. Because we know that this minus 1 is not possible, we will replace this minus 1 with plus 1 because inverse of minus 1 is plus 1. So, the uh, what we get the uh, equation x plus 1. Now, to find the other roots of x square plus 1, we will use this x plus 1. x square plus 1 is divided by x plus 1 and we get uh, 0 over here. Hence, x square plus 1 has two factors x plus 1 or x plus 1 whole square is reducible. So, x plus x square plus 1 is not irreducible. Now, we will test x square plus 1. We can easily see that we can take out x as common and x in multiplied by x plus 1. So, this uh, degree has been reduced of this polynomial. It means it is reducible. Now, we will test this x square plus x plus 1. We will again do the same thing. We will put 0 first and then 1 and we find that in both cases we get 1. It means we do not get 0 for both uh, 0 and 1 and hence x squared plus x plus 1 is irreducible. <clears throat> Therefore, 3 out of 4 polynomials are uh, reducible and 1 is irreducible. x squared plus x plus 1 is irreducible. So that is how we find which polynomials are 
reducible and which are not reducible. X square is reducible, x square plus x is reducible, x square plus 1 is reducible, but x square plus x plus 1 is not reducible or is irreducible. Now we look at the addition of GF, Galois field, Pierce power m. As mentioned earlier, GF4 cannot be a Galois field because it is not a prime number, but we can generate GF4 by extending GF2 as GF2 raised to power 2. And GF2 is equal to 0, 1. We know that irreducible polynomial for GF2 to the power 2 is x squared plus x plus 1. If any polynomial is divided by x squared plus x plus 1, then possible remainders are either 0, 1, x, and x plus 1. These are the only four possible poly, uh, remainders. If we divide a, a polynomial, any polynomial, by x square plus x plus 1. So we look at the addition first. Uh, 0 plus 0 gives you 0. 0 plus 1 gives you 1. 0 plus x gives you x. And 0 plus x plus 1 gives you x plus 1. Similarly, 1 plus 0 gives you 1. 1 plus 1 gives you 2, which, is, which becomes 0. In modulo 2, 1 plus x is equal to 1 plus x, and this one is 1 plus x plus 1 is equal to 1 plus x plus 1, which is equal to x plus 2, where this 2 becomes 0 again, and resultant is x. x plus 0 is equal to x, x plus 1 is equal to x plus 1, x plus x is equal to 2x, again, because it is 2, so x plus x actually becomes 0 x plus x gives you 0 and x plus x plus 1 again gives you 1 because this 2x again becomes 0 in modulo 2 arithmetic x plus 1 and plus x plus 1 sorry x plus 1 plus 0 gives you x plus 1 x plus 1 plus 1 gives you x x plus 1 plus x gives you 1 because x plus 1 plus x here this 2x becomes 0 and again you get 1 and in this case you get 0 because both of the elements are twice 2x plus 2 both become 0 and you get 0. Similarly in uh, multiplication you will get 0 into 0, 0, 0 into 1, 0, 0 into x, 0 and 0 into x plus 1 is equal to 0. And here is the, uh, obviously 0, 1, x and x plus 1. Here x into 0 is so again 0. x into 1 so it remains the same. x x into x x square which will be reduced to x plus 1 because you cannot have any uh, value greater than x in gf2 because the maximum uh, what a value you can have is 0, 1, x and x plus 1. So in this case, uh, this multiplication, this x squared becomes x plus 1. And uh, x into x squared plus 1 becomes is equal to x squared plus x, which is equal to 1. And uh, x plus 1. x plus 1 into 0 is equal to 0, x plus 1 into 1 is equal to x plus 1, x plus 1 into x is equal to x square plus x is equal to 1, and here it is x. The explanation for this x square plus 1 is equal to 1 and x square is equal to plus 1 is equal to, the, uh, we can get from here. As you know, that's irreducible polynomial is x square plus x plus 1 which is equal to 0. So x square is actually equal to minus x minus 1 and as we know that the, the inverse of minus in uh, modulo 2 is equal to plus, so is equal to x plus 1. And here x square plus 1 
if you keep uh, x square plus 1 is equal to minus x which is which is equal to x and x square plus x is equal to 1 so we have used this property from this ir irreducible polynomial to find to get these values x plus 1 here and uh, x square plus x is equal to 1 here and uh, x square plus 1 is equal to x over here 